All right, we are now joined by Mike Arano, president, new president of the AFAS. Congratulations, how does it feel? Um, it feels good. I mean, it's, uh, it's an honor, you know, it's, I'm um, very humbled by it. You know, it's something I never really expected to, to achieve when I first joined this organization, but I'm glad I got the opportunity to try to give back to the organization and try to, um, you know, help us continue to, to grow and, and, and be helpful to our members. Absolutely. And you mentioned something you never expected when you first joined this association. So maybe we can kind of learn a little more about you and how you got involved with AOFAS. Maybe you could start with uh, an introduction of yourself, your background in this industry and what you do. Well, sure. Um, I mean, I, um, you know, I, I grew up in California and I went to, went to medical school and went into orthopedic surgery. And when I was trying to figure out what's the best for you to go into, um, we had a visiting professor by the name of Ken Johnson who just talked about the field and, and why it was, it was great to be a foot and ankle surgeon. And I listened to him and I kind of liked, liked what he said. And I was very fortunate to have some very, very good uh, mentors at the University of Massachusetts Medical Center. Um, Tom Torquinio, um, Mark Slavenkai, Carol Barrett, who kept me interested in it. Um, I did my fellowship in Seattle with two other great mentors, um, um, Ted Hansen and uh, Bruce San Georgian. And I went to my first AOFAS meeting back in uh, Hilton Head in 1996, and it was great. Um, the education was great, the collegiality was great, um, the leaders of the field were accessible, they were willing to talk to you, give you your experience. And I thought, you know, it's like, yeah, I made the right decision. This was a great field. And over, you know, the past 26 years, I've been involved in the AOFIS, um, working on various committees uh, and trying to help the organization. And um, it's been it's been great. Um, obviously, technology has in, increased over over time. Um, we have more options to treat our patients, and you know, these meetings help us. Um, you know, keep up to date on, you know, what's new, what works, what doesn't work. Um, it gives us a chance to kind of interact with our industry colleagues and, and see, you know, what kind of new products they have and talk to them and make suggestions about what things they could do in the future to help our patients. So it's been good. Absolutely. Was there any um, particular session or type of content that you in particular were looking forward to um, getting more information about while here at the annual meeting? Well, I mean, I. I think there's a, a lot of things. So you know, our um, our pre-meeting that um, um, Becky Serrato, you know, ran was a lot of um, how to be a foot and ankle surgeon. It's a lot of stuff on, on how to start a practice when you're just coming out of fellowship. You know, how to um, how to interact with patients. You know, all the things you need to do from a kind of um, you know a business instructional thing to to be successful and to to, and to take care of your patients. Um, and then there's the academic sessions where you learn the latest research, you learn the latest techniques, you see demonstrations of um, you know, how the experts do it and how other people do it. And it just gives you um, a lot of ideas, a lot of perspective, a lot of um, things to help make you a better doctor and uh, you know, make your patients you know, healthier and happier and back on their feet. So. Well, I'll close with just kind of hearing what's next. What are you most excited about uh, in your tenure as president for the AOFA? Um, I'm just excited with working, you know, with our organization. I mean, we have an outstanding uh, staff. We've got an outstanding board. We've got outstanding committee chairs. So um, can you work with them? You know, we've had a lot of projects working on making our organization more inclusive. You know, we're trying to represent our membership and our society and our, and our membership and our leadership. And it's just, you know, the bigger we get, the more diverse we get, the more educated we get, just makes us even stronger. And I'm just glad I'm to be able to be a part of that, so. We're glad to have you be a part of it. Thank you, Mike, for your time and congratulations again. Our new president, Mike Arano. We'll be back with more shortly.